Hey YouTubers, I'm bringing to you today the As Seen on TV Magna Nails. Um, as a forerunner in reviews for budget cosmetics, especially nail products, this stood out to me because most magnetic nail polishes run anywhere from six to twelve dollars, and that's budget for one bottle. Now, I don't do the As Seen on TV typically, and I refuse to order from the 1-800 commercials like that's just not happening they will get your credit card number they will continue to bill you they will never stop you will be in personal credit card billing hell good luck trying to get them to stop so wait until the stuff's out in the store well I do I do it's a personal preference I wait until it comes out at Dollar General at Walmart somewhere else if I am that desperate and that and all of what I see on TV I will wait this was picked up at Dollar General for exactly twelve dollars not bad considering you get four polishes. I'm already going to tell you I give this a six out of ten. Two of them work well, two of them work not so well. There are four different collections. One of them is a gemstone. I don't know what two of them are. This is the Elements collection. I fell in love with it because of this. This in this box with this green border looks to be a greeny gold metallic color. It is not. Do not let the box deceive you in the colors. Cover this box up. Put it near your skin. It does have a double clear, but for some reason, these tend to lie more when it has a clear packaging over it. I, I don't know why. But you see how greeny gold that looks? Yeah, that, that's a lie. Wait until you see it swatched. I picked it up. I have opened it. I just wanted it to be together so you see what you're looking for. This is that greeny yellow. It turned into a mustard gold once you put it on. And it didn't pick up the magnet. As you can see, you can see some light magnetism in it. Not a strong design. Nothing that would catch my eye. And that was on the Earth. The colors Earth, Wind, Fire, and Water. Earth, Wind, Fire, Water. And you have the, co the corresponding magnets, and the shape of the magnet is supposed to correspond with what they are. So Earth, I guess you're getting layered platelets of Earth or something. Wind, you're getting the swirls of wind. Fire, you're getting the up curl of a flame, and water, I guess you're getting waves. Um, so, with the wind, I liked, because you get this really nice swirl, and this one really pulled out the magnets. I don't know if with the, I just, I shook it up, I tried again, I shook it up, I tried again. This was actually my third swatch. They all look like this. I am no newbie to magnetic nails, but this was a little more difficult than it should have been. Fire, fire did well, but I would not say anything other than the up swirl reminded me of anything of a flame or fire. Really reminded me of a raspberry wine, not fire. And water was nice, but again, lacking the pickup of the magnetism. So let's go ahead and open this so you can get a better view of what it comes with. Um... Obviously, all the pictures you're going to see on the box are extremely over-exaggerated, and you don't have to use, you don't have to use the colored magnet with that color polish. You can mix and match. Like, if you want the fire, red, fire color, it's called fire, literally. Um, you have... Earth, wind, fire, and water. And with these, again, you have the correlating magnet. Pop that out of there real quick. And it's not a bad magnet. It's it's curved. So if you were to rest it on your cuticle, you would be able to not touch. And it does have a curvature under the magnet, as you can see here. It also has the coaling um, color that it standardly goes to, as you can see. And then you get one for each of the colors, which I'm going to go ahead and pop these out so you can get a better non-plastic look. And you're going to definitely see what I mean by the color 
that it looks like in the package is definitely not the color you're actually getting. So be mindful of that. Don't um, let me get some white background behind this. So yeah, here are your colors. So what we're going to do today is we're going to demo one because I don't want you to take my word for it. You know, because maybe I was retarded. Maybe I can't do nails right. Maybe that didn't come out right. I highly doubt it, but... Alright, we're going to have to require some assistance here. Okay. First off, I'm going to get the magnet ready. We're going to use... You know what, since this didn't work on this, maybe it's the magnet. I'm going to try a different color magnet. I'm going to use this one with this polish. With the, I'm going to use Earth with the fire magnet. So, I put a thinner base coat just so that it sticks well. I'm going to give that a second or two because you're going to want a thicker one for magnetics. If you don't have enough metal pigments in your coat, it's not going to swatch well. So again, just picking up a, that was a little thin. And these bottles aren't full, by the way. That's another deceiving point that kind of upset me. I'm going to do this magnet upside down. It doesn't matter. It's a magnet. And we're just going to put it over top. I'm going to try to get a edge view, see if they can actually pull any of that turning. And as you can see, again, I'm telling you, it is this green polish. It doesn't, so it's not the magnet, it just doesn't pull well. So let me get a polish that I know of the colors that does very well, like the, the fire. And swatch it. And we're going to use that green magnet because I'm going to prove that it is a bad quality polish, which is just my instinct there telling me it's nine times out of ten that wasn't a good color combo for them to use for magnets to show up. So we're going to use the magnet that didn't work initially, and I'm going to try to give you a good side view. And again, I just put it in that middle. I didn't want to touch too much. And you can see that magnet does well. The gold polish and the, I guess we're going earth and water and water don't do very well in the swatching, as you can see. So if you want to look at this right, you got two basic polishes, two really good magnetics for $12. It's still a bargain. That's why it still gets a 6 out of 10. I hope that you found this review helpful, and I hope that you check out our other beauty reviews.